All right, so I haven't done one of these in a while, but I'm here with a Q&A uh, part, whatever. I don't even know what the fuck part I'm on, but <clears throat> I, I've, been, I've been pretty busy in the last few months, so I haven't gotten to it, but I'm here now with it. If you want to request any more questions, keep them coming. A lot of people are asking me questions. You can either hit me up in the comments section on this video or any other video I make. Make sure to specify the questions are for the Q&A. Or you can ask me on Twitter at Ruthless Ranther or, or at WWE Heel Punk. Let's get into it. First one. What are what are my thoughts on Finn Balor? He's a good wrestler. You know, very good wrestler. He's put on many good matches. I mean, his last match there with Kevin Owens, ladder match there was fucking great. You know, he's got a really cool entrance. He's got that going for him. The only thing I haven't seen of him is his promo ability, so we'll have to see on that. But overall, I, I'm, a, I'm a big fan of Finn Balor. He's a good wrestler, and he's got a bright future here in the company. If Vince McMahon and the creative team treat him right. Next one. <clears throat> Why do people still think Paige is good when all her matches suck? She only knows basic moves, sometimes only only does one kick for an entire match and botches a lot. You know, the thing about a lot of, a lot of the Divas uh, who are on the roster right now is they they look like they suck. Like, if you didn't watch NXT, you would think these divas suck. But go back and watch NXT, and you will find out that these divas actually have talent. So it makes me think that a lot of the people, a lot of the divas who are in you know on the main roster now, the reason that they seem like they suck is because of the creative team. Because in NXT, they thrive, they do great. But then they come up here and they suck. So I don't know what's up with that. And Paige was one of those divas who was good down in NXT, but then she came up here and she sucked. So, I think it just looks like she sucked. I know she has talent. She's young. She's got room to grow. So, I think she's actually pretty good. <coughs> Alright, next one's a fucking long question here. Um, didn't even fucking make sense. But I'll, I'm going to read it word for word. Alright, this is what they said. It's a very, I, I guess it's a, a fucking a hypothetical situation here for a match. And... Take it. He he asked this like three three four months ago, and I ain't, again I didn't get to it. So, all right, here we go. Think Cesaro should turn on Tyson Kidd and join the Authority. They should go down a battleground with Jack Swagger, also fending off the Authority, then attacking Tyson Kidd, setting up a match at SummerSlam for the now separate World Heavyweight Championship between the three, with Kidd winning but Sheamus cashing in on Kidd, setting up a fatal four way match at Night of Champions. <clears throat> between the four with Cesaro winning, keeping it until Survivor Series, lo losing it to Jack Swagger, then winning it back at TLC and defending it on the final night of Raw this year. Then at the Royal Rumble, he loses it to Kidd, who defends it against Neville, who didn't win the, the, the Rumble. It was Brian and Owens who had won the U.S. title at SummerSlam, but lost it to Damian Sandow at Night of Champions, who then defends it against Curtis Axel at Hell in the Cell, loses it to him, at Survivor Series in a 2 out of 3 falls match, but on the final night of Raw this year, he'd lose it to Sami Zayn, who defends against the returning CM Punk at Mania because there is, no, there is now no February pay-per-view at WrestleMania. By the way, can you answer what do you think about the storyline and the Q&A? How do you feel about it since it was written by a 12-year-old boy? Well, this guy has a lot of time on his hands, obviously. And this is fucking... Very hard for me to comprehend. I don't have the fucking time to fucking <coughs> comprehend all this shit. I mean, come on. Keep it simple for me, guys. I mean, this is like fucking, man, like, I gotta get a pencil and just write everything down here and simplify it. So, uh, you know, what I feel about it, too fucking detailed for me. And you say CM Punk's gonna return? He's not gonna return. He's in the fucking UFC. So that's what I think about that. Too long questions. Keep the questions shorter. Fuck it. I don't have time to fucking read that and shit. Don't answer this for the Q&A. Whoops. I looks like I'm going to answer. But who do you think will win the NBA Finals? Cleveland Cavaliers or Golden State Warriors? You know, at the time, you know, I saw LeBron James. You know, I'm not a big basketball fan. I hardly even watch. But I decided to watch the NBA Finals a little bit. You know, fucking St Stephon Curry was like, boom. Just nailing the fucking three-pointers. Fucking cool to see him do that. But... You know, after Cleveland went up 2-1, to one, I thought they were going to win. I did, but I was wrong, and they didn't win. I would have loved to see Cleveland win, though. I thought, I thought that would have been cool to see LeBron James win on his own, but <clears throat> unfortunately he didn't. 
Next one, how do you feel about the Super Smash Bros. game series? Never played, I don't know how I feel about it. Should WWE book a Shield triple threat match at Mania for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship? If not, what main event would you book? Um, no, I, I don't think they should do that because Roman Reigns sucks. Dean Ambrose isn't that good, I, I don't think. Um, that, that really depends, like, who I could get at the main event, you know, who I could fucking put in the main event. You know, uh, that's a tough choice because, again, you don't know um, who's going to be available, you know. So uh, that's kind of a tough choice for me to say, you know, who I would put in the main event. You know, you got Brock, you got Rollins, <coughs> you, um, you got maybe Triple H, I guess. But, you know, probably I would either put Brock or Seth Rollins versus somebody. You know, I don't know who exactly, but, you know, you definitely have a lot of potential with fucking Seth Rollins. He's a very good talent, and, um, <clears throat> you know, I wouldn't really mind seeing Brock Lesnar versus Seth Rollins again. I, I really wouldn't. I'm not saying that should be the main event, but I'm saying I wouldn't. 70, or next one, have you ever watched anime? No. Next one. What is your favorite cricket team? I said, stop the fucking cricket questions. I don't watch cricket, so I'm not going to answer that. Do you think Undertaker will wrestle at WrestleMania 32, or do you think he will retire next year? If yes, who would you like to see him wrestle if it's not Sting? Um, no, I don't think he'll retire. You know, I, I'm not a big fan of seeing Undertaker versus Sting. Um... I wouldn't, I wouldn't seriously mind Undertaker versus John Cena because we haven't really seen that before. And I you know, just think that would kind of be an entertaining match. Cena, Undertaker, two big names. I wouldn't mind that. Next one. For your next Q&A, if John Cena puts over Roman Reigns at WrestleMania 32 to be the next top guy, will you still watch? Yes, I'm going to watch this product probably for a long time. Because I don't have a fucking life and I like to fucking, you know, watch a boring fucking show and cry and whine and bitch and moan and fucking bore myself to death. Yeah, um, so I'm going to keep doing that because I'm an idiot. But I love this YouTube channel, so I'm going to keep doing it for you guys. Yeah. Ugh. So, there you go, people. There's another 10 questions of my q and I mean, these questions, by the way, guys, are fucking sucking. I mean, they're so fucking stupid. I mean, seriously, I mean... Like, ask me about video games and cricket and fucking bullshit, like, you know, anime and all this shit I don't even fucking know about. I mean, I was hoping when I asked this Q&A that you would ask me some cool questions, like, about my life. You know, where do you work? Where do you go to school? You know, family, I just questions about anything, but no, they're fucking shitty ass questions, I think. So, but, whatever, some of them are good, just... I don't know, it's kind of pissing me off. but So come up with some better fucking questions, people, alright? Alright, there you go. There's the next part of your Q&A.